we want to look at layers in the layers palette now. And uh, the first thing we want to talk about is there is a difference between um, an image on a background layer, which every image starts out uh, on a background layer, and what I call a regular layer. Notice that the um, image, when it's on a background layer, says so, and that everything in the upper part of the layers palette is grayed out. And um, regular layers um, are much more flexible. And so um, I usually end up by converting my background layers into a regular layer. The easiest way to do that is to just double click on the word background right here. And it brings up the layer properties dialog box. And we can simply say OK. We don't even need to rename it if we don't want to. We can also, in the layers property box here, at any time, we can add color coding of that layer. So I'm simply going to say, um, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll name it uh, Dune um, for the image. And we'll say OK. Now notice that this, uh, this stuff at the top of the layers palette all lit up uh, when I did that. You can also right click and you'll get the layer properties. Or, as we talked about, you can go um, right up here in the corner to the Options button, and you can get the same thing, all of your layers, properties, and, and those things um, right here. So there's several ways to, to get to that information. At any rate, I'm also, uh, I've opened up the duck, and I'm going to get old ducky and bring him in on top of the dune. We do that by going to the Move tool and simply click, hold our mouse, and drag the image on top of the other canvas. And then I'll close the, the duck, the original image. So we now have two uh, different um, layers. The, um, uh, we're also going to use the magic wand. I'm going to click on the white area of the duck and select it and then delete it and then deselect, which is Command-D. So those are some things we've also gone over. I'm going to make the duck also a little bit smaller. So I use the Move tool. I turn on right up here the uh, Transform tools, which will give me that, uh, that box to which I can use to um, r uh, reduce or change the size. And if I want to uh, rotate the image, so that's a little bit of review as well. And then when you have made a change, you click the return, or you double click inside the image area inside the box. Either one will acknowledge it. And um, so now we have two different layers. Um, another way to simply rename the layer itself is to simply focus in on that. And we can double click. And it highlights it like any other folder. And we'll call it the duck. And so that's taken care of. Now what we want to do is we want to look at the things that are going on up here in the layers palette. And we're going to go from right to left with these four small locking devices right here, first off. And the one on the far right completely locks the layer if we, in fact, choose this one. We can't do anything. We can't move it. We can't paint on it. It is just locked as uh, solid as a doornail. If we want to unlock any of these, we click the, the little device again right up here to unlock. If I go to the next one, notice that it's the same as the Move tool. And so it locks the movement. I can't move the image. You see, I get a dialog box that it's locked. OK. Um, I can do other things. I can, I can paint on it, but I can't move it. So that's what that tool does. I'll undo that. The third one is the paintbrush. And as you might have uh, figured, that means I can, I can move the image around. And I can do a number of different things, but I can't paint on it. So when I go to the painting tool over here, I, I get the no can, no can do. 
So there you have that. And um, then the fourth lock, the fourth lock um, has to do with, notice it's the same as the checkerboard, which means that this background area is completely clear, not filled with white or any other, uh, obviously, color, but it's completely clear or transparent. And so the fourth lock, when we do that, um, when we, for instance, paint, notice that the paint will go on the image, but it's not filling up the background. And so it prevents you from uh, doing anything to the clear areas. You see, if I, if I unlock it, I can paint anywhere on the canvas, but I was not able to do that when I had the fourth lock. And so that takes us through those couple of things. The other uh, couple of things I want to touch on is the fact that we have all of these amazing filters. This group of filters shows up in a number of different places. You simply need to play with them, and it they affect the interaction of the pixels of the two images, so you get a lot of different kinds of pretty cool effects. And so you should uh, learn to work with these and experiment with them. And then you also have opacity, um, opacity or transparency. And you can see we can go back to normal here, and you can see that we can lower the transparency of the duck on top of the dune. And so that's our transparency. And this one down below is called the fill. It works with most images, but in certain situations with certain kinds of fills, if you want to change the transparency, you have to only use the fill. The standard opacity wouldn't work. But for just a regular image, you see it really works just like the standard opacity uh, does, but um, it can only be used with certain tools um, uh, later on. Anyways, uh, that pretty much covers the basics of the top of the layers palette. And uh, we'll take a look at all of the things down here below at the bottom of the palette in the next video. Alrighty.